How's it people? Welcome back to another episode of Bassing with Sasha. In today's episode, we talk about how to rig soft plastics. So stay tuned. So I'm gonna go over five soft plastics that we are gonna rig up and I'm gonna show you, show you close up and in detail how I'm gonna be rigging them up. Okay, so let's start off with the first bait. This is a Senko and I'm just gonna jump right into how I would be um, rigging these up. So stay tuned. I'm actually going to be um, doing this on a wacky rig hook. As you guys can see, it's very small. Um, so what I do is I take my plastic I find the center and I take my little mosquito hook and I just hook it right through the middle. That's how that looks. Um, I basically just hooked it right in the middle of the of the Senko. That's just a little mosquito hook and this is a wacky rig. Okay, next way I would be rigging this up, this would be a Texas rig. Okay, so I got a 3 hook here. Um, what I will do is I'll take the front of the bait. Um, this, is, this is the front here. I'll take the hook point and I would just straight Texas rig it. So straight through, you see where the, the point goes, it's quite straight and then it actually goes into a bend. That's where I will go up to and then I would feed it right through, follow it all the way through until it uh, goes past that, the little bend. And then um, what I'll do is with this, uh, um, I will actually put it into the bait so it's completely weedless. Okay, so that's the basic um, Texas rig. So what I've actually done is I've actually pulled this line um, right through the top of the plastic so you can't actually see the circle of the hook. This is actually uh, much nicer. It gives it a much better presentation, much cleaner look to your actual um, rigging and your actual um, knot is inside of the bait and it makes it very smooth and it gives it a very good presentation. I'll be throwing this in a weightless so I would have my line coming out or I would be using a simple bullet weight which will actually be put onto your line and that would sit right in front of that bait. Okay, so the next bait that I'll be talking about is a Fluke. This is a very popular bait in the bass industry and I'm gonna be showing you guys how I would be rigging this. So my first rigging style um, would be a Texas rig. Running it through the, the, the top of the, on the top of the bait until the, um, the point of the, or until the hook starts curling then I will feed it right through, all the way through over the bend and then just like that. Now you see there's an opening at the bottom of the fluke. What I do is I'll actually put that, that hook inside there. I will actually take my hook, find uh, where, the, where the end of the um, hook is and then I will actually go right to the end. Just don't stab your finger. And then I'll pull it right through. It's actually um, perfectly straight. So from there, what I'll do is I'll actually just pinch the, the bait a little bit, pull it forward ever so slightly, and then I'll just uh, put, the, put the point of the hook underneath it. So it's completely weedless. So, this year I would throw just like this in a weightless um, style or again with a uh, uh, with a bullet weight right in front. Okay, there is another way I would throw this fluke that would be with a belly weighted hook. I would take my bait um, in the front like this, take my, my screw lock, screw that in right in the front of the bait, just like that. Try and get the bait as straight as possible. You know, you get others that uh, um, go quite far. Then what I'll do is I'll just place that hook right in there where that little slot is at the bottom. And then I'll find the spot where the, where the hook needs to come out. Just don't stab your fingers. And I'll do the exact same as I did with the Texas rig. You come right through, you just 
ever so slightly pinch that um, pinch and then there, there you have it now completely weedless um, this bait is very good if you actually want to have a faster sink rate it gives it a very natural um, action it actually sits like this on the bottom it it can it can fall over like this but that's okay um, it just gives you another different way to actually rig this bait okay next bait this is a craw style bait it's a beaver bait um, this is very good um, for presentations like um, heavy grass um, rock it actually is an all-around good bait to be throwing um, in every type of set situation so the way i would be rigging up a beaver style bait would be um in a texas rig i would um, throw it on a heavy texas rig i would even throw this weightless so you take your bait you take your hook you poke it around the front of the bait until you get to that to to the round of the hook you come right through that bait pull it all the way through you actually take your bait and then you um, you'd actually try and find where your where your hook ends and you try and go right through there. It's, it's practically the exact same as how you would be rigging a Texas rig. You will take your your hook and you will do the exact same same thing. Now this I would be doing in a weightless presentation because um, you aren't actually going through that uh, much cover, it's not that heavy because the bait, the bait actually glides down and you actually don't have the risk of um, getting hung up on everything. The other way that I would uh, rig it is you actually, um, your bait and you find where, it, uh, where the hook is going to go through, you actually poke it right through the bait so now so now what I've done is I've actually gone in the middle of the bait with that hook so it's completely weedless you can see I'm taking my finger and I'm actually putting quite a bit of pressure on it and it's not exposing that that hook whatsoever this is for more of a punching sit situation this is where you would take a bullet weight and you would basically take a line stop or a bobber stopper and you would uh, put the bubble stopper on your line. Put the put your bullet 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 weight behind it, and then obviously um, that would sit right in front of your lure, just like that. And that's basically how I would rig a beaver bait. Okay, next style of bait. This is a craw style bait. Um, I would practically basically be doing the exact same thing as I would um, with a beaver style bait. Just um, in this case. Because the appendages are quite big, it's actually not a very good punching presentation because you might actually get hung up with all these appendages. So I would rig it the exact same way as I would um, rig the Senko. Take the top of your hook through the top of the bait all the way up till, till the round uh, part of the hook. Come through it all the way through to the top. And then with this one, because I'm going to be throwing um, this map more in the open um, areas, because it's a craw style bait, craws actually like hanging in rocks. So what I'll do is I'll actually I'll feed the hook right through the bait, just like that. As you guys can see here, the hook is all the way through. And then I'll just, how you call it, expose um the hook so it's completely weedless and there you have it that's basically how i would be throwing throwing this you can fish this weightless and you can fish it as a straight texas rig with a weight on the front okay so last and fun final bait this is um a swim bait this is a um divine swim bait by six cents you can um you can actually rig this uh, in many different ways. So this is a very diverse bait. You can Texas rig it. You can uh, fish it weightless. If you want to fish it with an underbelly hook, you can fish it with an underspin. Let me show you guys how I would rig these and um, go through the ways I would rig them. Okay, so first up, it's a Texas rig again. You know, you can throw this on a weighted uh, just with a normal bullet bullet weight. So as always, you take it, take your hook, poke it through the front of the of the of the bait until you get to the bend. And from there, you come right through the bait. 
just like that and you have your you have your uh, your line tie at the top then you find where the where the bend of the hook ends you go right through there just like always just like I did with the uh, with the Senko bait and there you have it so with this bait um, it's actually got a little opening at the top and also an opening at the bottom depending on which way you actually want to rig it um, I'm also would if I would throw this weightless um, or with a Texas rig I would most probably just um, just put it into the surface of the of the hook or of the bait and you can see it's perfectly weightless, um, weedless so yeah weightless presentation right here or you can be throwing it with a Texas rig um, bullet bullet weight okay next way I would be throwing this uh, um, the swim bait would be with a underbelly hook so even when I did it with a fluke you basically take your um, your screw lock and you start from from the top okay so you take your uh, your screw lock start at the beginning of the bait at the front of the bait you just screw 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 until it's in there try and make it as straight as possible so in this case you obviously also have to try and find where the um, where the bend of the hook ends and then you find the spot basically run it straight through that bait exactly the same way as you would do with a Texas rig so you can see now this bait the hook is exposed I would just ever so slightly touch the um, or just put the the hook or the point of the hook into the bait to make it weedless this I would be throwing in more open waters um, grassy areas so you would just be um, running it through the grass and it gives you a perfect weedless presentation this you can also throw running it on the bottom you can let it sink just like that fluke okay next one and this is quite a favorite one from everyone I also really enjoy throwing it it gives you a bit of finesse but it also gives you a bit of um, a spinnerbait style this is a underspin so let me show you guys how I would rig that okay so rigging style is exactly the same as what I would be doing it with that um, underbelly uh, that um, underbelly hook you basically just find the front of the bait screw it in until the bait is straight because obviously you would want that perfect presentation you try and find where the where the hook will go through the bait and then you feed it right through there obviously this is a little bit more difficult there you go so theoretically that's what it looks like it's a really really effective way to fish um, a little swim bait it gives you a bit of both like I say you can run it through um, through grass and you got that flash uh, of the blade and uh, you can throw it in open water you can jerk it a little bit and it will give you that erratic um, movement and action that a swim bait and spinner bait combination can give you okay so I hope that you guys enjoyed this um, easy tutorial on how to rig um, soft plastics there are quite a few other ways to to rig soft plastics but I just wanted to go over the basics and um, you can be creative on ways that you want, want to rig in the future so if you guys haven't uh, hit that subscribe button please do so I also do want you guys to hit that uh, that thumbs up comment down down below let me know um, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial let me know if you guys want to see more of them leave uh, video ideas down down below for me, for me comment down below if I've missed something and um, I'm also very very open to answering your guys questions so I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, this tutorial and I'll check you guys on another episode of Bassing with Sasha